Hi guys and welcome to the Clueless Drinker. We're going over to Belgium this time. I don't actually ever think I've drank this sort of beer and that is of course a Lambic beer. Now I've heard a hell of a lot about this sort of beer. A lot of the reviewers that I watch praise Lambic beer, the style overall and as you can probably tell I was in my favourite shop, link down below. I noticed they were selling some so I thought I'll have something a little bit different, I'll try it. And that is of course Lindemann's Faro, which is actually a smaller bottle this time. It's only 250 milliliters at 4.5%. So quickly before I get into the pour, the sniff and the taste, let's have a quick look at the label and the bottle top. As you can see, the bottle top is covered by foil. I'm not too sure if there's a design on the crown underneath. I'll show it once I've opened the bottle up. But I absolutely love the look of this beer. A gorgeous label, fantastic typography on the label, very elegant. It kind of reminds me of the film Baba Yaga, the Italian film from the 70s. I'll put a still somewhere in this video so you can see what I mean. It just seriously looks the part. It's nice and dainty. And yeah, I'm really excited to try this because I've got no expectations, so... It's going to be an interesting experience for me. So without any further ado, let's open the bottle, pour it out, and have a look at it. Just took the foil off the cap, and as you can see, it's a really nice and simple gold cap with the Lindemann's logo on. Very nice indeed. So I committed probably the biggest sin you can when you're doing a video review. I actually forgot to press record as I was doing this review, so I've already sniffed it, I've already tasted it, so I'm just going to redo it. So as you can tell by the look of it, and by the way, I will say that this hasn't changed, even though I've took a couple of swigs of this, it still looks the same as it did before, it's got the same level of carbonation, there was no head, which I think is understandable. The colour itself, it's almost like a, a light copper going on amber colour. Kind of looks like an apple juice. It looks very nice. Let's give it a sniff. So right away you get in the yeast but working alongside that you get sort of a variation of citrus fruits. You're getting a little bit of lemon there, you're getting a little bit of lime. You're also getting sort of like a, a sour orange blood orange sort of smell going on in there as well. There's wheaty elements there, sort of like an underlining biscuit sort of sniff. It's just a very pleasant smelling beer, not too tangy on the nostrils, but at the same time it's not too reserved. So one quick look before I swig it. Like I said, it looks pretty much the same as I initially poured it. So with that said and done, now it's time for the taste. Bottoms up. The taste hasn't weakened since restarting this review. It's tangy, but it's not too overbearing on the tongue. You're not wincing at the tanginess of it. Like I was saying before, I'm tasting like a lime with some bitter orange in there as well. And then of course you can taste the yeast and it all comes together and works well. There's a wheatiness there to it, almost a slight biscuit taste as well as a biscuit sniff. It's a very, very, very first quenching beer. It almost tastes like you've got a very high quality fresh fruit drink or you've pressed it yourself and you've not actually put any artificial sugar in there, you've not put any additional sugar in there. and. It doesn't necessarily taste like a beer per se, and I think that works well in its favour. This is a very fruity, summery sort of drink. It's not heavy, but that being said, you would kind of mistake this for being more than 4.5% actually, because there's almost like a spirit element to it. You don't taste the alcohol, the fruitiness is there, the yeast is there, the wheatiness is there, it all works brilliantly together. It's an absolutely gorgeous beer. It really is. Not too complex either. I'm not struggling that much to detect different fruits in this one. I'm probably missing a hell of a lot, but I am detecting a lot as well. Slightly sour, fruity, 
wheaty, biscuity. It's not overly carbonated. It doesn't fizzle on the tongue. You get a nice tangy bitterness left on the tongue as well, which the taste stays. So as you move in your mouth, you're still getting taste of it and it stays, but it doesn't linger. It's not sickly sweet. It's just an absolutely gorgeous beer. And I would happily try Lindemann's Faro again. It's probably worked in my favour, this being a blind taste test of a Lambic. Because I had no expectations going into this one. I didn't have any other beers to compare it to. And it's so satisfying to drink. The more you drink it, the more you want it. And like I said, it's almost, in a weird way, like a very nice, very high quality slightly carbonated fruit drink that's just all natural elements no artificial sweeteners or preservatives but it just it's just alcoholic absolutely love this i loved it the first time that i reviewed it when i wasn't recording and i love it just as much now lindemann's farrow lambic beer tasty give it a try if you can seek it out i'll happily try more lambic beers in the future so guys if you've drank this Please feel free to give me your thoughts and opinions. It's more beneficial for me getting feedback from you guys than it probably is watching my reviews and opinions. If you're a fellow Clueless drinker, you might not want to rush into this one. You might want to play the field a little bit. Completely the wrong term, but you know what I mean. If you want to risk it, give it a try. But seasoned drinkers should definitely give this one a try. And if you have tried it, like I said, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Because it educates me. So then I'm more informed for future reviews. And speaking of more informed opinions, I'll try and put as many reviews as I can in the description box down below of the Faro. I'll be putting the Lindemann's website down below. As always, check out Beretta. And if you want to see more of my Clueless Drinker videos, then I'll put the link down below to the Clueless Drinker playlist. You don't know how many times I could not say that in the previous recording. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with me. And until the next time, I shall see you later.